Welcome! I am Public Enemy Numero Uno and thank you so much for watching this. Today I want to talk about the problem with high level clerics, the rant. First off, I'm not here to say that clerics are too powerful or need to be buffed in some way. What I am talking about is how clerics are designed to be incredibly strong early on before petering off when compared with other spellcasters. Clerics are very good, and not just the maligned heel bot of the group. Due to armor and weapon proficiencies mixed with powerful and useful spells, a cleric can be played as a support, damage dealer, tank, or utility. They are one of the few characters that are able to fit any role that a party might need. Only a few other classes have that kind of flexibility, not to mention having access to their entire spell list permits them to always prepare spells that will be useful to the quest at hand. All that is very good. The problem lies when and where their ability abilities and powers are gained and what level those powers are geared for. During tier 1, the cleric is equipped with a plethora of stuff. At first level, the character gains both class and subclass features. The very next, at level 2, they get both class and subclass features again. By this point, clerics will feel pretty well off, especially compared to other classes that don't even have their subclass yet. Jumping up to tier 2, clerics get both class and subclass back to back for levels 5th, 6th, 8th, and eventually 10th. All tier 2. However, after that, the clerics gain no new features until 17th level. Each feature mentioned are just existing ones that become better, or you gain more resources. Clerics are incredibly front heavy, and it shows for games that extend beyond tier 2. Compare that with either the druids or wizards subclass progression. Both get abilities at levels 2nd, 6th, 10th, and 14th, which is slightly more spread out, but the features are level appropriate and are more useful because of that. So, dear viewer and wizards of the coast, as you delve into your development of 1 D&D, please take note of this. The attempt to aid the cleric class in Tasha's was pitiful. You offered options that cleric didn't need and at levels that they sure did not need it at. More resources aren't the problem. Useful higher level abilities are. What's more is I have a few more things to say while I have you here. I notice a number of subclass abilities are tied to unique resource counts. They have a limited number of uses. Why? The cleric has a full range of spell levels, channel divinity, and divine intervention. Why would you want them to have even more resources to keep track of? The reason that a separate resource is applied to something is because it's too good to use freely at its level and must be restricted. Either just make the ability free to use, tie them to an existing resource, or weaken it so that it doesn't need its own resource listing. A number of the abilities, I feel, should just be treated like cantrips with cantrip dice progression, something unique to that particular subclass. Here are some examples from the player's handbook. Light Domain's Warning Flare is a reaction that forces a creature within 30 feet that is attacking you to have disadvantage. You can either limit the distance or apply a saving throw at level 1 and increase either the distance or actually apply the blinded condition for a duration that increases as you gain certain levels. Possibly even use it similar to the Nature Domain's Dampen Element, which is only slightly better but is a 6 level ability without a resource count. The Tempest Domain's Wrath of the Storm is pretty good. Taking revenge against a creature that has hit you within 5 feet is very useful. But why is it set at 2d8 lightning or thunder damage? Why not just have it at cantrip progression, a reliable little trick they can use whenever? The War Domain's War Priest makes even less sense to me. Being able to hit as a bonus action is cool, useful, and fits the War Domain, but logically, I don't know what restricts a cleric from hitting a few more times. Does the god enhance the cleric's speed for every set moment? Mechanically, I can understand it, as it is giving extra attack to a character prior to 5th level when every martial class gets it. If that's the problem, then give it to them at 6th level instead without the resource. Okay, Divine Strike isn't bad. It's an ability that a set number of subclasses get with different variations depending on the subclass. Getting to deal an extra 1d8 damage at 8th and 2d8 at 14th levels is decent. The problem is that it is below par to cantrips and clerics really have only one attack cantrip with Toll the Dead. Can't they get it a little sooner with a little better progression because of that? Another issue which is much smaller is the most of the spells that the cleric gets from 11th level on are often just more powerful versions of existing spells with only a few spells that offer either different or unique effects that you cannot get at lower levels. The better ones are the teleportation and transitive spells, which are amazing. Firestorm and Earthquake are also really cool, with the Vine Word being an absolute showstopper. I understand that clerics have a lot going for them, and giving them a bit more will feel like turning them into a spellcasting juggernaut, but there should be something else in my opinion. 
If you have watched this video to the end, I thank you to listening to the rantings and ravings of one who is losing their marbles. With that, please comment down below as I would love to hear more ideas or criticisms. Thank you again for watching my video and have an enjoyable day.